Hi, this is vlog recording number 36, so uh, it's around about 40, 41, 42 weeks, I think, I've lost count, into uh, my track, uh, my goal of trying to get a double body weight squat, uh, and again, that started around about 10 months ago, so about uh, tagging by end of April to be able to achieve a double body weight squat. Over the last couple of weeks, um, it's been a bit of a sub story by me. Um, had COVID, uh, had to isolate. Just as I was starting to see some, um, some, some benefits and change to uh, my my training strength. Uh, obviously, two weeks of isolation means I couldn't do anything. And then, hoping to get back into it and, and kind of pick up where I left off, but uh, that wasn't the case. I, I just couldn't get back to it. I knew that I'd lose some strength because I've isolated for for uh, 10, 14 days in the end. Um, but that took took a lot longer and getting quite frustrated and I couldn't explain why. Uh, somebody shared me, um, Scott shared something with me about uh, some kind of latent period of, of COVID and looking at about like 17 days or 14 days post uh, symptoms to get back to, which was really kind of helpful that there's something out there, but um, I was way past that, that 14 day period, but also I'm way past the athletic age and way past um, the sample uh, demographic I think that's that that was taken from and looking at athletes so maybe that's it maybe my age is kind of lengthened that latency period out however uh, good news is, is at hand um, thankfully um, with some perseverance and uh, uh, and not a lot not a lot of moaning quite a bit of moaning to be honest uh, finally uh, I've seen some some progress so um, this is uh, some data that I've been collecting over the past few weeks and I've tried to Kind of illustrate what's kind of been happening over over the period of time so um to the left hand side of that red bar that was my kind of pre-covid uh, numbers you can see there that blue line which is the first set of of my training which is five repetitions 85 kilos in the front squat i was trending upwards really quite dramatically i've seen quite a a pronounced increase in that um also with the repetition velocities at 105 kilos so i think I had one dip week there but if you look at it as a trend, that was definitely on the increase as well. So it was definitely kind of consistently uh, doing it, uh, doing um, uh, fast repetitions. Although we did have one one session where it wasn't as fast, and then we have this huge drop off in in velocity. Um, obviously, there's no data recorded in the isolation period, but it continues to decline into that kind of lag period after COVID. Um, but it was it was differentiated between what happened with that kind of quite light loads for me the 85 foot was relatively light um but as soon as it went heavier that the effect was more and more pronounced but if you look to the very right hand side of that graph actually what happened on friday and, and being repeated again this week is my numbers are, are right back up again so I, in fact i recorded my fastest set at 85 kilos uh yesterday which was monday so that the red line shows just kind of shows you kind of where that line is that that point is there in comparison to previous uh, sessions so it's it's a few uh, hundredths of a, a millisecond a few hundredth of a second sorry f uh, faster than uh, the previous weeks and same again actually quite significantly faster than uh, previous sets for uh, three reps at 105 now it isn't all kind of perfect I, I did do the full repetition, so I did um, three repetitions, one repetition, 115. That was markedly slower, so I don't think it's completely come back in terms of full range of of strength up to the kind of one RM or, or it's like 90 percent of one RM, but certainly uh, much much closer than it was before. You can see there, there's an absolute massive jump from um, Friday's record, which was just that either just the far right hand side of that orange uh, block to the one previous to it, which was really, really far down low on the velocity. So it just suddenly kind of came back um, quite unsurprisingly. So um, for anybody else that's that's kind of having a similar experience, whether, whether anybody's, I don't know, but um, just a bit of perseverance, I keep saying it and about being committed and um, I'm just kind of sticking through the process. Uh, I like strength training, so it, it didn't, it wasn't a chore. It was frustrating that I wasn't getting any anywhere with it. I kept getting some days better, some days worse. Uh, but then for it to come back, but that wouldn't have happened, I don't think, if I hadn't I kept on with it, with training through that period. So, uh, what does that mean for for the periodized plan now? Well, it basically means right back at week one of what I'd planned to do. So, um, 
yep, start again this phase again. I have another three and a half month phase by the looks of things, um, but I had, a, I had a complete reset um, kind of midway through February. So um, it was working pre-COVID, and hopefully I'll, I'll continue to see those gains. Uh, hopefully more more so because I'd, I'd invested some more time in, in front squatting. So hopefully the skill level is a little bit better. Um, yeah. So hopefully this time next week I can show more progress and I'm back on track again. Uh, definitely not going to be able to hit double body weight squat within the 12 month period. That's definitely out the window. But I've started on a, on a journey, um, and um, I'm going to get there. So I'll keep on keep on trucking as they say and try and get that double body weight squat uh, in as fast as reasonably possible. And hopefully no more forced isolations or breaks from training, and I'll I'll get there sooner than I hope.